We want to talk about grace today. Grace is one of those unusual words that many people seem familiar with, but few people can actually define. I mean, if I asked you, how would you define grace? How would you describe grace? Probably I would get a description of grace in action rather than an actual definition. But here's a working definition of grace that we can go with today. Grace is God doing good things for us even when we don't deserve it. Or grace is God being good toward us when we don't deserve it. Grace is the goodness of God being extended into our lives just because God is good. And grace comes from the very nature of His being. Generally, as we look at grace in Scripture, we can distill it down to two things. That God is gracious toward us before we even know Him before we understand anything about Jesus Christ and the work that Christ has done in our lives. And then God is also gracious to us after we have become believers in Jesus Christ and entered into a friendship with God. Even then, God pours His grace into our life. He does good things for us that we don't deserve. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, before we become friends of God, God's grace is extended to us um, through the offer of life. And here's how it goes. We were created to be friends with God. We were created to have a relationship with God. God wanted us to be in fellowship with Him. But the problem is that because of sin, relationships were all damaged. Everything that we were created for was destroyed by sin. God created us to be in fellowship with Him, but sin severed that relationship. Sin severed relationships between people, even within ourselves. Because of sin, we struggle even with who we are. There are times when we don't even like ourselves. That's all because of the effects of sin. So there's no way we can reach God. Our sin has destroyed our chances of ever being good enough to reach and have a relationship with God. But God understands that, and He still wants to have a relationship with us. That's the grace of God that reaches out to us and says, I made you for this. I still want to enjoy this friendship with you. And so God himself did something to deal with our sin. You see, sin is like a debt we have to pay. The Bible says in Romans 6.23 that the wages of sin, or what we earn from our sin, is death. There has to be a payment for the sin. Now, God understands how wicked and heinous sin is but he did something gracious to deal with it. Rather than forcing us to pay for our own sin or, to, or inflicting pain on us in retribution for the sin that, or the pain that we've caused others, God himself took on our pain and he took on the price and the payment of our sin by dying on the cross for us. The grace of God stepped in and took the punishment for our sin on himself so that he could reach out and, and draw us into relationship with Him again, which was His plan in the first place. This is the grace of God at work. The goodness of God reaching out and doing good things for us just because He is good, not because we are good, not because we deserve it. God's goodness comes from the heart of God, not from our merit.